So we have a really nice futon in here. Mm -hmm. But you had to go and get the office chair. Do you want to talk about that? Oh, yeah, the dogs are on the futon. <laughs> That's all right. Dude, they, he, oh, he needed it. Look at it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like spoiling He's the animals. He's tired, yeah. Animals get the couches first. Mm -hmm. I just think it's funny you had to go grab a chair because they both are on the futon. Yeah. Bub's on the dog pill. Okay. Yep. Dude, all the animals are in here. Yeah. They're behaving. So. so far. So far, yeah. Watson has a little whine, but he whines himself to sleep. Kind of like you do at night. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. No. You just, lately it's just been. Fucking <coughs> <coughs> coughing. Yeah. Yeah. I've had this cough for weeks. Yeah. It sucks. Did you sleep good the night Rosie laid next to you? I did. Yeah, that was a good night. She loves you. I know she does. I love our animals. Yeah. Humans cute. don't deserve dogs. No. We've had this conversation before. Yeah. We don't deserve dogs. They are just undyingly, like, loyal. Can you imagine, and like, the, so fir good. the first people to, like, start d domesticating dogs? Well, yeah, like, well like I saw a TikTok the other day, but it got me thinking about about that mm -hmm. fact. Like, imagine being, like, some of the first people to be like, I think, I think this thing understands me. You know I what think I think I, it I, was? It's like, I think I, I, it's like an, when you could tell it to do stuff and it would do things and go, like, holy yeah. shit, this thing understands me. Yeah, you, you know, know like was? making that realization must have been fucking crazy. Yeah. You know what it was? What? Some white woman was like, oh, look at it. <laughs> Trying to adopt a bobcat. <laughs> no, that's a joke, though, going around on social media is white women aren't scared of anything because they'll be like that bear that opens that lady's door. And like brought all of its cubs to see her and stuff. Oh, like I haven't seen you that. haven't seen that one? Or the girl who's like petting a bobcat. I showed you the one where she's just looking at it, but there's like petting a bo bobcat that's like purring. Really? Yeah. But it was probably Is it was someone it like, Yeah, I was gonna with, say, was it at like a rescue or something? Like was it I mean I don't know. There was no context, of course, but the the yeah. joke around social media is that White women aren't scared of anything. But really, all it comes down to is white women aren't scared of cute-looking animals. Yeah. If it has furs and it looks like a friend, it's a friend. <laughs> yeah. Bobcats are really cute, but yeah, they, oh, that's misleading because yeah. they're, they're very, very neat. Yeah, yeah. They'll tear you up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, imagine Bub's paws times ten. Yeah. Even though Bub is actually really good. At, now he's on the good time. You, you see him here once in a while. Yeah. But... I like looking at them from afar, like at my family cabin. Yeah, that's the last time, time I saw them, yeah. too. We saw them at night. Man, it's still nothing was cooler than watching those two black bears run across the field. You had already moved to New England at this point. Yeah. So it was just my dad and I, and I was just, like, I had to quickly put my clothes back on because I was getting ready to shower. And I was, like, in the bathroom, and I'm like, Dad's like, you have to come out here, there's bears. And I, so I was... Quickly putting on my clothes and yeah, it was cool because it has the cabin had the high porch. Yep. And then a beautiful valley like that looked and, like and those too. two bears were like running and playing like with each other just straight across to that wooded area that has the my dad said there's a river that runs through that with lots oh, of fish. Yeah. So he thinks that's where they stay the bears probably hanging out. Well, so like cool. even even on like on the cabin property like those little hiking trails. Like, when we first started going up there and we're on those trails, you could see the trees that the bears were scratching on. Mm -hmm. And I remember telling you guys, I'm like, that's bear. Yeah. I was like, there's bear coming through here doing that. Do, so. do you want to talk about how offended you are that, like, everyone you know has yeah, seen a I've bear? Yeah, I've never, I've yet to see a bear in the wild. Yeah. I've never seen one in the wild, but... <laughs> I just remember, like, you got so mad when Catherine was talking about seeing a bear up in Vermont. Yeah. And you're like, what the hell? Everybody I know has seen a bear in the wild, but not me. Yeah. Like, obviously, I don't want to be too close, but I yeah. would like to add that to my list of animals I've seen. Mm -hmm. I think the wildlife sanctuary is really cool in Colorado. Yeah. Because it's like that nonprofit that um, rescues big animals that were... They all have stories. It's not like they go 
and take these animals out of their habitat. These animals have already been taken out of their habitat. And, like, some of the stories are sad. Like, they have a bear there that people were storing in, like, a, like, cement room. Yeah. And, like, it was malnourished and stuff. Or people with with big cats, they had, like, a black panther that was really cool. They had uh, a bunch of lions and tigers. Did they have capybaras? No, it it was it was uh, lions, tigers, and bears. Oh my! And wolves. I see a lot of videos of the capybaras. They're the, so they seem just like cute. dogs. They're wicked friendly. Like, well, do you know they're like friendly with all animals? Yeah, like you'll see yeah, them like friendly. riding on a crocodile's back or an yeah, alligator. I've seen that video. Yeah. And then like. I've even seen, like, they're good with, like, the turtles and stuff, too. Mm. I think I saw one on, like, a giant, like, Galapagos tur- tortoise. You know, those are rodents. Yeah. yeah. Those are the biggest rodent. Yeah. They they just look like giant guinea pigs. Yeah. That's yeah. what they look like. Have you seen wombats? I have. Like, I love seeing the... Uh, there's so many, like, uh, videos I see on TikTok of, like, Australian children cuddling a wombat. And it's so stinking cute. It looks like kind of like a teddy bear. <laughs> yeah. If it's friend size. But animals are cool. But back to the dog thing. I just, it makes me sad. Like when you hear of dogs being mistreated. That's why when, oh, yeah. that's why when Rosie was being offered for free on a buy and sell page, I was like, you know, she might not have pin her, but she looks enough like it. Like, what if someone mean adopted her to, like, yeah. be mean to her? Yeah, that would be sad. That would be sad. She's so sweet. She's a trash dog, but... She is a trash dog. <laughs> she will not leave the dog. <laughs> That's been her new thing That always. smile, she knows what Getting in the trash. Yep. Yeah. Watson's the barker. Yep. He's cool, though. I think his background's really cool. Oh yeah, canine dogs are cool. Yeah, dogs, dogs. I think I have a really hard time. Like I can find something in almost every breed except Chihuahuas. Oh yeah, because I house sat for um, a family member's Shih Tzus, and they were personable too. Mm-hmm. And it does come down to owner own, owners mm-hmm. half the time, you know. Even if they're more aggressive, it's usually because they didn't come up with good, like, a good family. But ours are a lot on the couch. They're a lot on the bed. There's dog hair everywhere. I don't know why we buy clothes that are black. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well stop. <laughs> yeah, the dog hair, yeah. that's the price we pay. But it's worth that's it. Okay. The whole back seat of the car is covered in dog hair. But it's absolutely worth it. Yeah. I feel bad for people who have allergies to, like, cats and dogs. Oh, I know. Like you know, my grandma does. Yeah. But she she takes allergy medicine yeah, my friend because does my too. grandma can't not have cats. I felt bad for him. The friend I'm talking about, he would visit us. He was out in Colorado with mm-hmm. us. Jeremy, he's very uh very allergic to pet hair, so he was. But dying. they've had dogs. Yeah, not until he left. They didn't get dogs until he left for the military. Oh. Yep. He he makes the joke all the time when he left for the military, his parents just replaced him with dogs. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. yeah, that's great. But she was mad about because he wanted dogs his whole life. Oh, I'm but sure. What kid doesn't want He figured out he's allergic he's allergic to like pet hair real yeah. bad. Like so whenever he would come to our mostly cats. He could probably have a golden doodle. Yeah, it's mostly cats, but when he would come to our, our Colorado house, he was always dying. Isn't that <laughs> wild? House. But they found like a hypoallergenic dog. Like oh yeah, like poodles. Yeah. Poodles oh, yeah. and golden. Well, I think it's I think it's poodles, but then they they can but, mix them with the. Uh, but the golden doodles are also yeah. hypoallergenic. Yeah, you but, can yeah, mix the poodles, poodles and stuff yeah. and get the hypoallergenic. There's another type of dog that's hypoallergenic, but I'm not sure what it is. But yeah, it is crazy to think who was the first like to be like I'm gonna domesticate these. Yeah. Like it's wild. Well, it's and just it's like the process of of domesticating them. Is there had to be. There had to be those first people kind of figuring out, like, I think these things can There's understand us. Like, they're, they're like, I, well, like, it knows what I'm saying when I'm telling it to do stuff. But that's like, some sometimes it gets weird, though. Like, when you think about who was, who was the first person that looked at a cow at her and said, I want to drink that shit that comes out of it. I, I was thinking like, of it the <laughs> other day, and actually, I think, not to be all, like, know-it-all-y, but mm-hmm. I think it, it started in the desert. 
Mm. It was people that didn't have water in the desert, and they were like, we're out of water. And then they were like, let's drink that milk. Yeah, that thing's got milk in it. I think that's where it started. Was did like they, did they know cultures. at that point it was milk? Like, uh, yeah. Did that term come around? Well, yeah, because I mean, like you produce milk for babies and stuff. Oh, yeah. So it's like they probably knew what milk was. Yeah, but because I, I like the joke being like the guy who discovered milk must have been a freak. Huh. But I don't think they were freaks. I think they were desert culture people. And it was like, yeah, but you, don't, but you don't see cows in the desert. Yeah, but they have like camels and stuff. Mm. I think cows are pretty, um, like cattle's always been a very like worldwide thing. Mm. Like I think we domesticated those pretty early. Yeah. Because I don't. I mean, it makes sense. I don't know many places where they're wild. Yeah. That's the other cool part about the cabin is the free range cows. They just know to kind of just stay in their area. Yeah. Animals are cool. I'd have more. I'd have cows for sure if we had land. Yeah. Let's go buy land. For sure. Get some land. Yeah, can you just like when you irresponsibly get more animals? Because we have no self control, we've learned that. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. What's the last dream you had you can remember? Last dream I had. I had a weird one the other day, and it's probably because I watch political videos, <laughs> but it was like, basically everyone, which is, this is kind of true, is they just turn politics into like a reality TV show, but like more <laughs> than it, more than it already is now. Yeah. It was literally like, like they had like a TV show that was like advertised. a Jersey Shore and they like, all the politicians just lived in the same house and it was just. So was yeah. Putin there? No, Putin was not there. <laughs> Because I didn't know if this was before or after you watched the interview that Tucker Carlson, Tucker Carlson did with Putin. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. I told you about my last dream. It was fucking wild. <laughs> the one I remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My friend, like, was all excited about some deal at a spa. Yeah. It was, like, only $45. Like, in the dream, I knew it was only $45, and it was, like, all-inclusive spa. But she said we had to take the whole deal. And we had to get Brazilian waxes. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and the spa looked really nice. And it was nice until you got to the waxing. And then it was like these two shady dudes that were like waxing. God, that Bra- sounds like a nightmare. Yeah. 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 It was it was wild. But she was insistent that it was a deal, so we would... <laughs> black, black market Brazilian waxes. <laughs> yeah, I, I told her to. I, she goes, well, you know, I can't pass up a good discount. <laughs> and like, a deal's a deal. But it's, it was a wild dream. I'm like, why? What purpose does that dream have? <laughs> I just like... I like picturing these are like mobster, like drug peddling they, gangsters. Yeah, they they were, and then but they it was Brazilian waxes on the side. Yeah. That's their side hustle. And they were like hairy too, so it like didn't even make sense. Like Big they had arm hair. Just, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's about what it was. Wearing track suits. I don't know that they were. I, they were wearing more like what you would imagine a gardener wearing. Uh, <laughs> like the overalls and dirty white t-shirts. That's. <laughs> Well, <laughs> <laughs> it was weird, but, but like Slavic men. <laughs> yeah. uh, dreams are wild. That is a funny dream. I don't remember most of my dreams. I don't remember yeah. most of them. I remember the sleep paralysis. Fuck sleep paralysis. Have you ever had that? Yeah, I haven't had it in a long time, though. Yeah, because this place isn't haunted. Yeah, I had it when I was living in the apartment in North Carolina. I would get it a lot. We we've talked about this before too. We talked um about sleep paralysis before. Yeah. And there's a very scientific explanation and then there's this eerie explanation of like a supernatural thing. It's very strange that people see the same things. Yeah, there's like five different entities that have seen been seen like worldwide yeah. with, experiencing sleep paralysis. Which is weird to me because if it was like just a hallucinant hallucination why are people only seeing five different like yeah. entities it's also interesting like people have like like there's certain dreams that everybody has like every like i have dreams where my teeth fall out a lot uh-huh. but apparently that's a really common one where people have that yeah it's supposed to be like anxiety <laughs> yeah related i'm i'm of the belief that we don't 
we're only scratching the surface oh, yeah. of what sleep and dreams oh, and stuff is. We've talked about this before too. It's that's why dreams are so wild. Yeah. Because like I think some are purposeless. Like what other meaning does my waxing dream have? That's so specific. It was almost like a story. It wasn't like or, or the dreams like but it's it's not like the same as your teeth falling out. Yeah. Because that's like there's something that ties that all together. There's a comedian that I just recently saw. I saw this today and he was I'm gonna butcher the bit, but the concept of it was imagine trying to explain to aliens who don't sleep what sleep is. How do we know aliens don't sleep? Well, I don't know. What if they don't? But it's like because what if what if their bi- biology doesn't require sleep? And it was just being like because food is easy to explain. It's like I need energy and I put this in me and I get the energy. I absorb the energy from this. But then he was like, if you don't but no matter how much energy you put in you, when it gets dark out, we have to just shut it down. We shut it down, and then our brain plays movies for like nine hours. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? It's like, yeah, we just shut off for like nine hours. <laughs> yeah, how do we know aliens don't sleep? Uh-huh. I mean, you don't know that, yeah. but we don't know they do either. But that's like trying to explain colors to someone colorblind. Yeah. Color. I've always thought of that too. Everybody could see different colors. Yeah. Like the pigment, like the way, because like the way colors is with like pigments is it has to do with like the the light waves that come off of it. So like it's the same light wave for each color, but how your brain shows it to you could show me something different. But because it's the same thing, we both know that is blue. But your blue yeah. could be like a red to me, or to or, you know. Yeah. But we what we've lined up what each one is yeah that has to go into like consciousness too how like every that's all like there's no way to measure what somebody else sees so it's all crazy is they they definitely think that women see more shades of things than men do yeah because like but i don't know if it's women or just people because like i don't know the difference between eggshell and white like yeah to me, it's very similar. I've noticed that, too. Women can be more specific with colors, whereas men are kind of just, like, generic about it. And well, that col- could be, yeah, women could have a finer, like, what, detailed What color. color would you say these walls are? They're like a, a bluish gray. Yeah, that's exactly how I'd describe that. Yeah. Yeah, shades sh- shades are weird because there are... But I don't think it's just women. I think it's just... Certain people can really focus on that kind of stuff. And, yeah. But, like, yeah, you see the joke of, like, eggshell or white, eggshell or white, and it's like... Well, it's like my friend is colorblind. Yeah. He was telling us the other day, he doesn't see a difference between green and brown. Yeah. He's like, green and brown, those are, like, pretty much the same color. And obviously, to me, he's not colorblind. I'm like, no, those are very different colors. But it just it makes me think about, like, how he sees the world. Mm-hmm. Like... During like like, like during spring, brown to him. like yeah, like during spring, is everything brown, and is that how he's always seen the world, or mm-hmm. is he just co- or is he seeing green, and he just thinks they're both brown because that's what he's known his whole life as to be brown. But do it's trees green. and grass look different? I don't know. I'd like have to the ask. The trunks him. of trees, yeah, look different from the leaves. Yeah, I'd have to ask him. I don't know. Didn't you say he was, like, he had this article of clothing that forever he thought was just brown? Yeah. And it was, like, green? Yeah. And he was like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, he was, it was like a desert tan color. It was, like, very light tan, almost color of sand. Mm. And he thought it was dark green. <sighs> and we were like, no, that's, like, really, that's really bright. It, they would see you in the woods. And he's like, no, they wouldn't. I'm like, yeah, they would. But, like, that's not, and nothing in the woods is that color. He's like, yeah, it is. No, it, it, it was. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I blend in. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, you don't. You stand out like a sore thumb. <laughs> but that, that's that's kind of because he was like, I can't tell the difference between blue, brown, and green. But it, I don't know which color he sees. Yeah. You know, because they both look the same to him. So he could be seeing everything as green, and he might not see any brown. Yeah. And then, but he just thinks that green is brown too. He looks so comfy. Look at all these animals. They look so comfy. Mm-hmm. Tell you what, happy animals, happy life. Yep. Comfy animals. 
What's weird too is dog's time is different than our time. Yeah. So, like, it's sad to think, like, when we're gone for a few hours, they probably think it's, like, days. Yeah. Or, like, you fed Rosie breakfast, and then she was looking at me. She's she's smart, dude. She tries to trick me yeah, into giving I don't her think, second breakfast. I don't think that's a time thing. I think she's figured <laughs> yeah. out that she can get two breakfasts if she yeah, plays because the cards right. forever you were having me feed them in the morning, but you started making it part of your morning routine while I'm still sleeping, so I don't notice. Yeah. And so when I get up, and Rosie's, like, looking at her dish, looking at her dish, and then I'm like, okay, okay, I'll get you food. And then I'm like, okay, dog's fed, going to work. And you're like, I already fed the dogs. Yeah, she's on that hobbit schedule. She's yeah. got first breakfast, breakfast second, second breakfast, breakfast yeah. afternoon tea. <laughs> <laughs> hobbit life sounds like the life. It is. <laughs> Dude, that's what I aspire to be. I aspire to just live like a hobbit. <laughs> Barefoot and have big feet. Yep, and just eat food all day and live in the Shire. And travel the Mordor. I'm yeah. just kidding. You don't want to be a special hobbit. You just want to be a hobbit. Yeah, yeah. Where they're unaffected by everything. It's just poor, the poor Baggins family, isn't it? Yeah. 